Previously on The Potentialists. Uh, yeah, special. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely spectacular. So there was this really huge waterfall changing colors. Ooh. Where Ruby falls, making it happen. The when big question, home? when are you coming home? <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. I love visiting lots of places when I go into a city. I really want to get to know it and look at the landmarks and do the tourist thing and get the history thing going. All you need to go is to boatworld.com and you can live life. Don't let life live you. It's real simple. George's Aquarium is actually known around the world. There we had fun with a family. The aquarium was really big compared to the ones here in Miami because we don't really have big aquariums. They just took it to a whole other level. Favorite part about the aquarium was this, they had this huge wall. It was like an IMAX theater. Hundreds of fish in there. It was amazing to see that. We had like a little behind the scenes tour on how they take care of the fish and things and I thought it was great. And after visiting the aquarium, LJ decided to start a pepper eating contest. No, no, it's not like it's just, no, it's not time. It's just how many, how many I can eat. I didn't think we were actually gonna do it. And I mean, we even had the people inside that, that worked there cracking up. <laughs> the after is gonna be funny. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> My stomach's like, what are you doing up there? <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> you can do it, okay? okay. I'm burning up hot this. <laughs> what, you're numb right about now? I can't feel my mouth. My throat's about to get numb. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Let me see your tongue. He's not done. There's juice in here. Done. Good. No, you're not juice. No, you gotta count the stems. Juice. Now you gotta drink the juice. Come on. Nah. Come on. Okay. If you have two without stems, that's 30. You have 30. I wonder what the world record is. <laughs> That'd be 29. <laughs> of course, it would be our family that starts a random tradition in a random restaurant, and it was just too funny. So your boy just ate 30 jalapeno peppers. Why are we? You got Baja Fresh, and that is the record here. See, there's the manager right there. Where, where, are, we? where are we? Yeah, Baja Fresh in Atlanta, Georgia. LJ just broke the record. So he's gonna be famous here now, right? He's, he's Baja Fresh famous. Game over, baby. Game over. Cool thing about Atlanta is that we have a lot of friends, and one of our mentors from way back in the 90s lives in, right outside of Atlanta, about 45 minutes, and we decided to go visit him. His name is Patrick Horvath. So our friend, he's a pilot, so, and he lives in an interesting community. Every single person had a hanger. And you built this too, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty cool, and we got to see a little sneak peek of his new plane he's building. It looks pretty cool. I've never seen a plane in the process of being built. But this one is not like that one. This is actually. This little is. Little. We did the whole thing. I've done everything. Under this. What about the shell? You ordered it? Uh, the, the the pieces. Some of these pieces can prefabricate. Some of them are just sheet metal that you got to actually form into those pieces. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's not like you think of, well, you got to build an airplane, they'll send you parts and you put it together and you fly. Right. But, it, I mean, most people, it's, it's about 25,000, 2,500 hours of work. But that's actually building work. Usually, for every hour of work, there's about six hours of preparation of, you look at the plans, you read, or read the instructions, look at the plans, look at the pieces, read the instructions, look at the plans, look at the pieces, look at the airplane, look at the pieces, read the plan, instructions. <laughs> Try and figure out how you're going to make this piece out of, you know, this hunk of metal. His house is beautiful. But a cool feature about the house was the fact that he has a landing strip in his backyard. Years ago, that came and landed before I moved brought, moved here. Oh, because from up there, it looks like a landing it strip. It looks like a, and it does. And some people, you know, you fly around and you want to just try to land at some airport. 
like us. You know, like if you're traveling on, a, yeah. on, on, on an RV, and you're like, you know what, let me try this, this road for example. Exactly. This is a lot shorter than it looks. I mean, because it's so narrow compared to most, most runways are 75 to 100 feet, 150 feet wide. This is 20 feet wide. He was in a really cool community. Everyone had a plane in the whole community. They all had a hangar each to themselves, and, they, and there were runways throughout the community that people use to go in and out with them. This whole trip, we were like a bunch of like, my parents were my friends, like, oh look, they're not paying attention, let's go mess with them. And then they're like, okay, you know what, we're gonna get them back for doing this two weeks ago, and no, oh, we're gonna do this because this happened this day. You always come out of these kind of trips, like super like bonding over the whole thing. We were gone for like a month. Being that we're a family that's very fortunate to travel a lot and go to a lot of places, there's nothing like a good old fashioned road trip. And you keep like exploring until you get to your destination and that's like the best way to travel. Just exploring and having fun. You get to bond, you get to sing, you get to get on each other's nerves, you get to talk about things, you get to plan. There's so many things that you get to do when you're in tight spaces for a really long time with everybody that you love. Even though sometimes you get really frustrated, there's nothing like being on a road trip with the Olivas. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?